Hello fishing friends and welcome to another Staten Island report with me one fish at a time and so what I want to start with well right now I can see the moon right where I'm talking from it's actually a little slither so it's a waxing crescent moon about I believe it's 17 percent it's very yellowish it's very on the right side and uh, I've just been really fascinated with the moon a lot when I go fishing. And I, I really like the idea of the moon causing the tides, causing what moves the tides. And speaking about tides, the tide today was, uh, we, were, we, you know, the low tide was around 5. And the next tide, which by the time you read this, I'm home ready. So the next tide is at 10. It's about 20 minutes around. But we didn't go high tide. We went actually low tide. And actually we did three hours of low tide. And that, I think that's going to be later on important. Uh, I think the tides definitely do affect, well, it's, I don't know if they do affect, but it's kind of nice to measure them. I put them in, and what I mean by is every hour of a tide, so usually six, every six hours another tide comes in. Maybe, maybe not, but that's what I generally see. So uh, from five to ten, actually every five hours, some, it depends, I don't know, it depends on the tide, but every five hours a tide in maybe, who knows. Most importantly what I'm getting at is that um, I always think the tides are important to look at. And when we arrived uh, at the pier today, uh, it was important to know that the water was very active and choppy and moving. So when we started throwing, you know, casting our bait in there, our minnow, four inch Berkeley gulps, we ran out of the white one, the glow, and all we had were the pink one and the chartreuse. And, and we pretty much, you know, water temperatures were about 77, which was the warmest so far we fished in. And I think that's important. And the wind, the wind wasn't a big factor. It was about seven miles per hour. We didn't feel it, but it was a little chilly. My my wife said it was a little chilly and I didn't catch that till later on. So we got there an hour before the sunset also. So again, we got there an hour before the sunset, which we got there around 7, 12. The sunset was around 8, 12, something like that, or 8, 11, something like that. So we got there an early, tried to see if we we're gonna get a bite. And all we got were little tiny little bites from those little sea uh, sea bass or you know sea bass burgle we don't know if it's porgy yet but definitely little sea bass tons of little tiny sea bass they're all over the area now in the in the, the pier we're, we're fishing so anyway you know we were doing it for three hours we, we fished about from seven till wow 8 30 we were not catching nothing nothing no bites uh, beautiful sunset we finally see the moon you know I finally get to see the moon I haven't seen it for weeks you know a little and it was right there to the west and we were leaving and last cast McGee that's my wife uh, as you'll see in this video something you know it happens finally so I mean nothing like a keeper but big fat juicy one and it was a good fight and I th my love did a great job so anyway enjoy the video and uh, thanks for watching guys bye
end of the knife. Mm -hmm. end, end of the, the knife. Yeah. 